So boys and girls, when I first initially heard that the X-Men 97 series was being created out there, I was initially very, very worried. And then obviously after a few things came out, if you've seen some of my older videos, you'd understand that I was actually cautiously optimistic. The creator, the guy that was showrunning, DeMeo, was saying a lot of the right things, talking about that he was talking to the old creators and wanted to keep the spirit of the original show alive. Well, there were some more things and later things that came out and said, turned out maybe this wasn't going to be so good after all. And then of course we got the Forest trailer and we got to look at what they've done to morph. And well, it's just things, this thing premieres this week and it looks like it's going to be an absolute disastrous dumpster fire and we're probably not going to be very happy with it at all. But you know what? Because we are fair and balanced around here, we're going to at least give it a chance. And then we saw this drop yesterday, and I am absolutely fascinated by this one because that very showrunner, the creator behind bringing this series to life, has now been fired from the Walt Disney Company, and it is pretty wild. So I initially saw this Screen Rant article from this morning, and then I was like, oh, look, this is where the original comes from. It's the Hollywood Reporter over here, ladies and gentlemen, and this is their premiere exclusive. The Hollywood Reporter was the first one to report on this, so we're going to get into this and check it out because this is absolutely insane. And apparently, from what I hear, there are some very spicy reasons as to why Mr. DeMeo is now out the door at the House of Mouse. So Marvel shocker, X-Men 97 creator B.A. DeMeo fired weeks before premiere exclusive. So we're just now finding this out because this premieres this weekend. In an unusual situation, on the eve of a project debut, the writer-producer who worked on Moon Knight and Blade will no longer be promoting the show or moving forward with future seasons. And there he is. Early this month, Bayo DeMeo was in the midst of a particularly busy time at Marvel Studios. The writer-producer was prepping for the launch of X-Men 97, the Disney Plus series he created as a continuation of the beloved 90s Fox Kids show. DeMeo, a Marvel regular who previously wrote on live-action series Moon Knight, as well as early drafts of the company's delayed but still upcoming vampire thriller Blade, oh yeah, you mean all that stuff that had been scrapped? That's probably one of our first signs was still lining up press and making plans to attend the show's Hollywood premiere on March 13th, which is which would be actually today at the time of this recording. He was even discussing loose ideas for a third season with members of his team. So apparently they've got the second season already all planned out. But early last week, Marvel and DeMeo suddenly parted ways. His company email was deactivated and cast and crew were informed he was no longer on the project. DeMeo's Instagram account, once a source for X-Men updates, was deleted. No reason for the firing was given. Marvel had no comment. DeMeo's representatives did not return calls for comment and emails to the showrunner yielded no response. It was a surprising turn of events on the eve of the show's March 20th debut. Spitting with the writers, oh, so I guess it's next weekend, it is a normal part of business for uh, next week, a normal part of business for Marvel or any studio. However, it is unusual for a top creative on a Marvel project to miss a premiere or cancel press plans last minute, even if they've been shuffled to the side. Most Marvel premieres feature multiple screenwriters walking the red carpet, some of who da 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 da. Marvel amounts to Veo's hiring, da 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 da. His silence on social media has been acute, as he was. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's check out Korean sister adopted to white parents. Yada, yada, yada. His silence on social media has been acute as he was prolific poster sharing X-Men tributes as well as shirtless pictures of himself at the gym for a time. He also ran a non explicit, uh, huh? Only fans account, all of which inspired the LGBT publication out to declare him the sexy gay Marvel writer and showrunner to know. Hmm, now boys and girls, based on Disney's supposed family-friendly image, how do you think that's going to come out? That their showrunner for a kids animated series, right? A series that is targeted at kids and of course adults that are, were fans of the 90s series. How do you think this is going to go over? To know that you have a showrunner who is making the show for kids that is an OnlyFans account. Whether it was not explicit or not, the OnlyFans name is synonymous with one thing. Girls prostituting themselves out there in front of the whole world for money. That's exactly what it is. They're literally getting naked on channels to go out there and put it out there to the world and get paid for it, okay? That's what OnlyFans is known for. And when OnlyFans tried to change that, they got such a huge backlash from their community, their creative community, the people that all make them all their money, that they immediately turned around and stopped it. They immediately reversed course. Like, that's what OnlyFans is known for. You know what I mean? They try to put a different front face on it, but that's all they are. They're just an adult website. That's really all they are. And so to have this guy connected to an account on there, I think we know why he parted ways with the House of Mouse. 
But at times, social media had proven a challenge while making the series. In May 2023, DeMeo announced he would be deleting his Twitter account after he was attacked by users accusing X-Men 97 of whitewashing the character Sunspot with the casting of a Brazilian actor, Gui Agostin, in the role. That's right. You can't. I remember doing that video. You can never make the woke happy. You can never make the cult happy enough. They will always come after and they will always attack you for some kind of nonsense if you don't agree with absolutely everything the current day trend, or maybe the currently hourly trend, says to do. So guess what, DeMeo? Kind of getting what you deserve there, buddy. X-Men 97 continues the story of X-Men the Animated Series, which ran from 92 to 97, is credited with introducing a generation of children to the mutant characters and priming the pump for the X-Men movies, the early 2000s, yada, yada, yada. A number of the voice original voice characters are returning with a nostalgia factor helping propel the first trailer to become the most-watched promo for a Disney Plus animated series. Um, DeMeo was among the kids and all of those, yada, 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 talked about all of that kind of stuff. So yeah, looks like DeMeo, I don't know what, you know, in the Hollywood, and to ask what the Hollywood Reporter would define as not explicit, really, really makes me wonder because I think their definition of non-explicit and the average American, the average person in Western civilization out there, the average common sense person, the action, average common nerd or geek out there, I think we would probably have a slightly different definition of what was explicit on his OnlyFans account versus what the Hollywood reporter would do. Now, I'm certainly not going to go look it up because that's not a horror I want burned on my eyes, and I wouldn't recommend any of the rest of you to do it either. But if you're really one of those sick, warped individuals out there, well, by all means, have at it. I'm not going to judge you, uh, but I'm not going to do it. But needless to say, I think we'd probably have a slightly different definition of what was explicit on his OnlyFans. What do you want to bet? I guarantee you it would not be appropriate for the demographic that the X-Men, the animated series, is aimed for. What do you want to bet? You wouldn't want your children seeing the pictures that were non-explicit, but for some reason were behind a paywall on his OnlyFans. Yeah, just another example of another creepy weirdo out there in Hollywood getting involved with children's series. And don't get me wrong, that was probably never his intent with the X-Men, the animated series. That was probably never his intent in any way whatsoever. Now, did they make Morph non-binary? Yes. Whether or not it's actually ever going to be even talked about in the series, we have yet to see. But if that is the case, then yes, he is trying to push an agenda into a children's show. And he's trying to push it on his children, which makes him no better than one of those rest of those creepy weirdos out there in all of the rest of Hollywood. Now, if I'm wrong, I'll gladly admit it. But at the end of the day, this guy has been caught doing explicit things, doing things that didn't in line with Disney's quote unquote supposed values, although we know that's just a farce as well. But this is to say, this is not something that parents are going to want to find out about an animated series, whether they're down for Disney or not. And guess what? Now he's suffering the consequences of his own actions. I mean, time and time again, how many times have people been warned? You put something out there on the internet, it is there forever. So maybe it was an easy way to make a little extra money. I have no idea. But it certainly burned any of your future at Disney. And considering what we've seen from the X-Men so far and what you did to my boy Morph, by all means, Godspeed and good riddance.